we're going to do some basic color correcting stuff. So here you can see I have three different clips, one is all of which I filmed myself. We're going to look at upping the exposure just a little bit to see if we can get any more, any more vibrancy in there. All right, there we go. Now let's try and put some contrast. So, so the exposure will bring more light into your in, into your image, but but you need to be very careful with it, otherwise it will just blow everything out and it will suck. So do not do that. Uh, the contrast will brighten up the no will no will, will bring more pop to your color. But again, don't want to overdo it, otherwise things will go wrong. Uh, let's put in some highlight, only a little bit, because uh, because as you can see on his face, it's starting to blow out a little bit. So actually, I might bring the highlights down a smidge. Let's try shadows. We are actually pretty okay on shadows. White again. I don't I, I don't want to blow out his face because as you can see, it's already starting to blow out a little bit. Uh, let's see what I can do about that. And blacks, blacks again are all right. I think the black, I think the black is okay. Uh, let's up the contrast a little bit more. All right, all right, all right. Uh, now the temperature, as you can see, it's very simple to understand. The temperature can either be made cooler by bringing it more towards the blue, or it can be made hotter by bringing it more towards the orange. Now for this, I might actually bring some orange into it. See what, see what that looks like. Yeah, I'm right with that. It brings out, it brings out the color of the beach hut's ruse rather nicely, uh, and the tint. I usually don't mess with the tint unless I absolutely have to. But as you can see, it will either bring, it will either, it will, it will either bring more green into the scene or more pink or purple, pinky purple. But either way, do not need any of that. So now let's do a quick, a quick before and after because I, I always like to check just to just to see what the difference is. And here is a side by side comparison of each clip before and after my color grade. Now, in the newest version of Premiere Pro, there is something called Loom Tree Scopes, which is phenomenally advanced, but or but of course, easy to use. It has all of this, of course, but it also has an aspect where you can pick and choose a color, well, a light source, and effectively change and manipulate the color of that light source. So, if so, say for instance, if in if in this one, like if I didn't like if 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 I wanted it to be like a purple or a neon pink light coming from up here, the Loom Tree scope could do that. And it's fantastic. Now I'm not talking about this because this is a histograph where you can see you can see the colors that make up the make up the image. So you can see the white and the blue and the green and the red. So this so this little bit is it is it is our character here. But I would definitely recommend checking out some tutorials on Loom Tree scopes or Loom Loom Tree. I do not know how to say this. <laughs> There are certainly other tutorials on that particular part which I highly recommend watching because it is a fantastic aspect of Premiere Pro and I wish I had it. But anyway, as always, I hope this was useful in some way, shape or form. If you like these, stick around, like, subscribe, all that usual boring YouTube things and I will see you in the next video. See you later.